Hey everybody, Garketch here, and today I'm joined by the developer of this cool new game coming out, Mr. Rick Ozone. So Rick, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself. So Microverse is a simulation game in which you control the life of a microscopic organism named Michael Robe. Hi, I'm Mike. Now Mike is a highly sophisticated, fully voice AI character that we have meticulously designed to resemble an actual, real life microbe. Wow, and I see he's even wearing a robe. Great attention and detail. Michael's robe is just one of the many outfits available to us in the game, and if we go to the customization menu here, we are presented with a myriad of alternate clothing options to choose from. Hmm, let's try something a bit more formal. Wow, I look dashing! Whoa! We've programmed Mike to be a highly customizable creature, which means that we can also change his color to over 40 different shades of sky blue and even adjust the frequency at which he blinks. Now this right here is a true next-gen experience. Our goal with Microverse is to create the most advanced microbe simulator ever made, and in order to do this, Mike had to be an exceedingly refined and interactive microorganism. So to demonstrate what I mean, if I graze my finger to and fro against his tummy, he will react accordingly. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> Additionally, we also give players the ability to pet him, poke him, brush his hair, or even provide him with a massage. Ah, yeah, that feels good. Alright, so this is cool and all, but what exactly is the objective of the game? At its core, Microverse is a survival game, where the player must provide Mike with the necessary support and guidance to ensure his continuity into the next generation. And while also being wary of other creatures, I assume, I mean, when you look this much like a jelly bean, they're gonna be lining up to take a bite out of old Mike's head. In this world, Michael would be facing a threat even deadlier than hungry sharks or feisty lions, perhaps the most savage predator of them all. Loneliness. Huh? You see, what Mike does not yet realize at this stage in the game is that not only is he the sole microbe in his general vicinity, whoa, cool map, but he is also currently the only living organism on the planet. Uh, sorry, is this a planet from one of those space movies or something? What you are seeing actually is Earth. 4.2 billion years ago. What? And Mike is the first person to call this place home. Oh, well, for someone completely alone in the world, he seems to be doing all right. Speaking of which, let's go back down and see what he's up to. What do you say? <laughs> Uh, so as we'll notice, Mike is getting ready to throw a little get-together. Guess should be arriving any minute now! Um, does, does he not, uh, should, uh, should we tell him? Mike is not the kind of microbe who will handle this kind of information well, so in order for him to remain unknowing of his bleak reality, we will have to trick him into thinking that someone showed up to his party. Rick, I like the way you think. So let's go over to our inventory here and see what we've got available to work with. Alright, who here would be a believable guess? Ooh! Now this guy looks like a real party animal. Ow! If we were to properly fool Mike, we will require a much more believable looking attendant, one who is fully capable of partying. So let's open the crafting menu here and equip this vertebrae with a torso, some arms, and we'll need a pair of legs for dancing of course. Well I gotta say, you'd certainly have me fooled. Now let's send him in and see how Mike reacts. Yay, they're here! Oh wow, looks like he's actually buying it. We may have him tricked for now, but if he's going to remain deceived, we will need to sustain the illusion for the duration of the function. So, uh, what's your name? Hmm, what should we name this guy? Our guest of the evening will simply go by the name of... Wow, that's like, really cool! You want a beer? Cool, I'll be right back! <clears throat> Here we go! Now in order to grip Mike's offering, we have to use the circle here, right? Just move my finger on it, there we go. Alright, let's just take a sip. Ah, crud. Not much of a drinker, huh? That's okay, I don't really drink much either. Mainly because I don't really have anybody to drink with. Uh... You see, there's not a lot of people around my area. In fact, there's nobody at all now that I think of it. Except you, that is. But it's weird, I've never seen you around here before. And the way you talk, something feels a bit off about it. Almost like you're not a real microbe. Uh, I think he's starting to catch on. Now when Mike begins to question the realism of our guests, we will need to quickly divert his attention away from this. And seeing as that we are in a party setting, a prime way to distract him is by dancing. Whoa! <laughs> okay, Rick, okay. <laughs> yeah! Let's see a backflip! A backflip? The man wants a backflip? We shall provide him with one. Are you sure this guy can do that? Oh, jeez! Oh! Come on! Oh! 
Well played, Rick. Wow, that was wicked fun. We should hang out again soon. What's your number? Uh, you know Sky's number, right? Communicating with our guests via cellular telephone would not be possible as he currently lacks such device. All right, well, let's just give him something so he leaves us alone. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see. Four, 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 five. Oh, no, wrong number. Four, four, four. All right, cool, I'll see you later. Yes, we did it. As we can see, Mike had a remarkable time at his party and we were successfully able to fool him into believing that we were an actual guest. Uh, who's he calling? Judging by the seven consecutive identical dial tones often associated with the number four, it appears as though Mike is trying to contact the phone address that was recently provided to him. Hold on, you're telling me this guy's already trying to hang out with us again? Like, ten seconds after we were just with him? Mike is a very needy robe, and once befriended, he will stop at nothing to try to spend every solitary moment with the individual he perceives to be his friend. Uh, well, I hope he doesn't get too upset because that wasn't a real phone number that I gave him. Aw oh, man, nobody ever wants to hang out with me. Whoa, what was that? So this meter here represents Mike's current mood, which has just dropped considerably after failing to get in touch with our guest. Man, this guy's real fragile, huh? Mike does not take it lightly when he feels ignored or neglected, and providing him with a false cellular address is a surefire way to send him into a depressive state. Oh god, is he crying? Now as we'll notice, Mike's mood is deteriorating by the second, and if we do not do something swiftly, he could become permanently unhappy. I'm so lonely! Well, I hate to say it, but it doesn't look like things are gonna get much better. I say we put an end to his misery. Sorry, Mike, but this is for your own good. <laughs> Ugh. Well, sorry the video had to end this way, but uh, Rick, thank you so much for coming in and showing off the game with us today. Folks, if you'd like to learn more about Microverse, you can do so by visiting www. Bah! What the heck? I'm back! What, what just happened? Due to Mike's regenerating abilities, he can quickly rejuvenate himself after suffering a critical injury. Oh, well, geez, I wasn't aware. What happens to, uh, that part? Thanks to the ability to duplicate himself, his lower portion will turn into a brand new microbe. Whoa! Ah, great. Who's this guy? Meet Brandon Robe, the second ever living being in existence. Ah, great. There's another one now. And as we can foresee, Mike will undoubtedly be overjoyed by the advent of our unshaven, mint green, elliptically shaped fellow here. Hi, I'm Mike. What's your name? Hey, what's up, man? I'm Brandon. Want to be friends? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, dude. Yay! So, does this mean I win the game? With the introduction of Mr. Brandon, the goal of Microverse now is to maintain a positive and healthy relationship between the two, as the fate of all future life forms is dependent on them getting along. Seems that they like each other so far. While they may be enjoying each other's company as of now, their personalities differ quite greatly, and over time we will see they do not mix well for two individuals living together. Well, until that time comes, I say we just enjoy this moment right here where they actually seem happy together. So, to show you what I mean, let's use the fast forward feature here to skip ahead one month from now and see see how their relationship has deteriorated over time. Ah, come on, man. So here we are approximately one month after the duo initially crossed paths, and it appears as though Mr. Rogue is growing rather vexed by the deafening vibrations of Brandon's stereo arrangement in the other room. Yes, he looks rather unpleased, as you would say. <laughs> now, while Mike is surely not the adversarial type, it does appear that Brandon's relentlessly boorish demeanor is leading to a forthcoming confrontation between the two. Let's pan over to him and see how the situation plays out. The flaming enemies from start to finish, basically. Uh, hey, Brandon, could you turn your music down? I'm trying to sleep. What? I said it's 4 a.m. Could you turn it down? Sorry, I can't talk right now. This Brandon guy is a real piece of work, huh? Now, to resolve this dilemma, the player must utilize what they have learned throughout the course of the game. So the first thing we will need to do is get Brandon's attention so that Mike can speak to him. Alright then, let's look at our items here. Hmm, let's see what we can do with this squirt bottle. Hey, what'd you just do to my TV? I didn't do anything, Brandon. I just came here to ask you to turn your music down. Oh, you're gonna pay for what you just did to my screen. Hey, stay back! Ah! Oh, okay, so that's how you want to play, huh? Now here the tension between the two has reached a point where Brandon is now prepared to physically clash with Mike, and if he's going to stand a chance in this skirmish, he will need to be equipped with a weapon of sorts. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh-oh. Now I must provide a word of caution that the impending battle amongst the two will likely consist of severe graphic violence and disturbing imagery. Oof, well I'm no good with violence, so just, uh, tell me when it's over, okay? <laughs> Jeez! What is going on there? Is it? Ah! Oh, I don't want to look. Ah. Oh. Is 
Is it over? Oh, Jesus, Mike, what? Ugh, what'd you do to him? My God, I thought this was an E-rated game. Wait a second. Those bits of his body, they're not all gonna turn to new Mike- Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>